There's no question more people are shopping online this holiday season, but you know, sometimes you just want to browse the store and touch the merchandise and retailers say you can do that safely. So does that mean they're offering incentives to get you into their stores? Now this morning, John Shumway has been looking into the COVID retail effect. So what did you find, John? Aren't they always offering incentives right, to get you exactly. into the store? <laughs> but more so this year probably than we've seen in the past. The retailers really took it on the chin in the spring and they need to basically for you to come out to the store in order to, for them to survive. And David French, a senior vice president with the National Retail Federation, says yes, it can all be done very safely. Closing retailers is not the answer. The answer is uh, smarter shopping. The answer is, is capacity limitations, uh, being, being just socially distant, using masks, those kinds of things. And we can get through the holiday season together. French says lower inventories mean this is not the year to count on last minute deals. They started promotions much earlier. Uh, a lot of people saw Black Friday sales that stretched uh, weeks in November as opposed to uh, over the, the, the Thanksgiving weekend. And, and you're seeing a lot of promotional activity designed to spread people out. Uh, I, I think uh, waiting until the last minute is a strategy uh, that may have worked in the past. It may not be as, uh, uh, as successful this time around. Andy says the retailers are bending over backwards to make shopping safe. And so you're seeing a lot of innovation in this space. Uh, you know, buy online, pick up in store, or curbside pickup, appointment shopping. These are all tools that retailers have innovated. Uh, you know, it, 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 some, some folks in the industry joked about this, but it's probably true. We saw 10 years of innovation in 10 weeks in the spring, and, and that, that innovation is here to stay. Yeah, another ripple of the COVID effect. Now, the National Retail Federation says research out of Yale points out that if retail businesses close, it actually increases the COVID risk because the number of shoppers are the same, but now they're congregating in fewer businesses. Therefore, more people are closer together instead of being spread out, Heather. All right, John, I understand retailers want you to shop now, but you and I both know there are always deep discounts at the last minute. Yeah, I tend to be a uh, Christmas Eve shopper, so yeah. yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. But French tells me if you wait, then you may not have much to choose from because the retailers not wanting to get stuck with a lot of merchandise when the holiday shopping is over, haven't stocked the shelves as plentifully okay. as they have in the past. So what you want may have been on sale, but it isn't there. All right, good to know. Thanks, John.